Jokers, what's up? And I hope you're having a great day. Finally, we got some new human gameplay and also a lot of new information from a developer interview. Alright guys, smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe and let's get it. Alright, to sum up all the UI elements for the humans here, on the right side you got your minimap with different objectives marked and you also have a way to turn on the flashlight. And of course in the middle you got your HP and stamina bar and you also got a button to, to look behind yourself in case you're like playing with a controller. In the middle of your screen you got your noise meter which will turn red when you when you're making too much noise. So while sprinting you will make a lot of noise and the clowns will be able to see that. In the left corner of the screen you will have your items that are in your inventory and it looks like there are four quick slots for items in your inventory. Alright, so as human you run around the map and you search for useful items. As you can see here you can find items in trash cans or boxes or on the ground. What you just saw there is that the humans can turn on the boom boxes and throw items like baseball to make noise and distract the clowns. And this is how it looks like when you get turned into a cotton candy cocoon by the clowns from the human perspective. It appears that you can smash the E button to, to die faster, it seems like. Um, and there's like a timer in the middle of the screen. So when the timer runs out, you will probably die uh, if nobody comes and saves you. To save you, you will need a knife or a sharp object to, to save the humans from those cocoons, as you can see here on the screen. So you got your usual HP bar in the middle, then below that you got the stamina bar, uh, which will turn completely red when it runs out with like a kind of explosion, and I don't know what that means exactly. So I think you can you have to wait for a couple of seconds then before you can start sprinting again, and before it starts regenerating. That's how I understand it. Like when you completely deplete your stamina, you have to wait a couple of seconds. Or it's just an animation and it does nothing. <laughs> Who knows? Let me know if you know anything about that mechanic. So the developers also talked about that there will be a progression system in the game. And I think we are definitely going to get perks as well. Because on Friday the 13th, there were a lot of perks as well. They also touched on the topic cosmetics. They revealed that the female humans will also have pigtails, which is kind of cool fitting that 80s vibe, and on the clown side, Shorty will be the one with the most customization options. Using guns as a human in this game is really really strong as you can see here. He has a gun and he wants to get some kills. And he finds a clown who's carrying a cocoon. And he's shooting, oh he misses, and one, I think, yeah, just two hits. And now he's trying to save the human from the cocoon with a knife, as you can see in this animation, but he doesn't quite make it. Yeah. And he's getting, he's getting boxed, man, in the face. Yeah, he's trying trying to make a run for it around the building. He's gonna try again, right? Does it save escape progress? I don't think so. The clown's just getting two shot by this pistol. And this seems really, really OP. So we have to see how balanced this is gonna be. The developer said it's gonna be a high risk and high reward kind of thing. It's probably pretty hard to get the weapons and the ammunition in sufficient amounts so that you can use it regularly. So you might want to save your ammunition for when you really really need them to make an escape or to save another human player from dying, anything like that. Like really game chasing stuff. So don't just shoot the clowns whenever you see them. But we'll have to see how they are going to balance that out and if it's going to be too strong or if it's going to be just right. And this is what they said to the maps that we are going to get in the game. So we have a uh, uh, hillside which is announced and then we have a few other maps that are not announced that definitely have. Each one has a completely different style. Like, we, you know, we've, we've, we've really, really learned over the past two games, like you have to make the, the map not only visually look different, but it has to really play differently. So we're going to get the carnival map and the hillside map, as well as other maps that are not announced yet. So each map will be really different and unique. And according to them, every map will feel and play extremely different, which is great to hear. And one big topic they were talking about was the card system. So once you are dead as a human player, you can play minigames to support your fellow team members. So whenever you win one of those minigames, you get to choose a card which reveal an item such as a baseball bat or a baseball or like a hamburger <laughs> or any other item in the game. And then you can decide if you want to keep that item for yourself in case you will get revived or if you want to drop that item and gift it to the survivor who's still alive. And this sounds pretty funny because when you're running around as a survivor, maybe you're the last one and you just keep getting items in your inventory <laughs> out of the blue, you know, like your teammates just drop your stuff in there and, and that's going to be really useful, right? So maybe 
you're hiding in a bush and then your teammate drops you a baseball, you can throw that thing to distract the clowns from the exit and then make an escape. This mechanic can come in clutch. All right, here you can see him playing the minigame. Um, I think he has to get like the right aura, like the picture above that. Yeah, he nearly got it right, but not quite. <laughs> Right, so this is how it looks when you when you play those minigames while spectating as well. And I think you have to do the minigames in a short amount of time. Like there's a timer to it, I think. Oh, look at that, he just dropped through a baseball bat. And then there's a minigame where you have to throw these basketballs <laughs> and you get like time for that or points, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, they just throw those bolts in the, in the nets, okay. Yeah, you, you get like minus five seconds, minus one seconds for that. So I think this will just add to the timer, which is running like below. Uh, and the faster you finish the minigame, the faster you will get like the card, right? Then you get the card. Oh, he got a baseball for her. I don't know if he took it or gave it to her. Um, next minigame is whack a clown. Pretty self explanatory right? You just smash the clowns. Whenever they pop out. And you gotta press the according buttons. And then you get a card. There we go. Hamburger. Oh, what is that? A yeah, gift player hamburger, right? This is what it said, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of those games. Alright, the one thing I wanted to touch on as well is how you're gonna heal. So as a human you will heal uh, by eating like apples, hamburgers, that kind of stuff, like food items, I believe. Yeah, so that's really interesting to know how that works. Oh, and the humans can see the cocoons that are transported. So he's throwing something to distract and tries to, to rescue them, but it doesn't really work. And then he gets smashed by Shorty. Yeah, you better run, boy. Or you're gonna end up as a cocoon. Yeah, he's running. Is it me or does this map look really, really saturated? Like the colors are really popping hard, but I think that's just because it's recorded from the screen. So whenever a human is hooked, you will get this message. So you will know that there's somebody to save. Oh, he just got turned into cotton candy. God damn. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you excited for the game? And are you gonna get it when it comes out? I hope to see a lot of more gameplay soon. I will keep you guys updated as well. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything on Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I see you in the next one. Peace.